Well, um, okay. <laughs> uh, guess there's a new event, guys. Um, challenge your fellow students in the dueling circuit. Win duels and earn following prizes. Oh, that's actually kind of cool outfits. But that means we have to go duel now? Huh. What is that all about? Here I went in with a plan for this recording and then, puff, another event grows up. Not that I don't mind it, but I am a little surprised by it. But eh, we will have to see what this is all about because fellow students, do they mean NPCs or do they actually mean um, other players? So that, that, that's my question. Oh, we can talk to people here. Oh! Oh! Uh, oh! Oh! Um... Uh... <laughs> this looks a little more formal than I would have... Oh, look! There's a little blackboard here, like... Look at how... Who's winning? Seemly... Ravenclaw. Uh... Yeah, it looks like Ravenclaw is ahead with a little bit. Okay, that's odd. Okay, what 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 they're going to talk about? Okay, let's see. I thought I knew everything that was going on at Hogwarts, but I never heard anyone mentioning this room. Wait, look. This looks like a room with a lot of. Um armor suits but wow oh let me just see what does knight have to say i like the looks of this place of course you do it's a dueling stuff okay and what happened to the carpet on the walls was there a battle fought in here what carpet on the walls there's no carpet on the walls is there? Is there? No? Yes? Don't know. So what is this about? Oh! So this is a... Welcome to Hogwarts Dueling Club. What? This is actually really, really exciting because I don't know anything about this at all. I just turned into the game and this was here, so... I am a little... I might be sounding a little taken aback by the whole because I kind of had a little list of stuff I wanted to do, but this is more intriguing right now because poof, it's there! Surprise! And it's kind of confusing me. <laughs> this room was built years ago as a safe and supervised environment for students to practice dueling. So now we can fight Jane in here or... no? I'm sure you have noticed the damage caused by various fire-making spells and blasting curses over the years. Huh? This doesn't look as fancy as... Uh, which movie was it where you see Snape battling or dueling that blonde guy? And I think it was a teacher against the Dark Oz because that those teachers are pretty often like changed out because of um, different things, different different reasons as well. Hmm. Anyway, yeah, that looks a little ominous though. We will leave the destructions. <laughs> we will leave this destruction as a reminder that casting a spell against a friend or a foe can have lasting impacts. Oh, that's actually a good way to show the the children. Because I'm still assuming these are young kids. Because when you think about when Harry started at the, at Hogwarts, he was like 11 or something. So I'm assuming we're about the same age. So it is a good way to show the children. See, see that rocks? See the wall? See those holes? That's the result of that kind of curse. That's the result of that spell. That's just the result of all these things. So... Imagine if you do that against a person, kind of thing. So that's a good one. Dueling exists as a sport, 
but may also save your life. As you many know firsthand from the visiting war. Oh yeah. I want all of you to learn the important skills before leaving Hogwarts. But only in this place, under our supervision. The professionals will oversee every duel led by our resident dueling champion, Professor Flatwinick! Yay! Uh, Flatwinick is my favorite at the moment, but I'm pretty sure Professor Sprout will beat him to the to the to the finish line when we start having her. I don't actually know which year we're going to be taught by her. But I'm looking so much forward to actually have classes with Professor Sprout. I'm looking so much forward to it. Oh my. Okay. Use this as, a, as a, an opportunity to challenge yourself and your classmates. We will take note of your performance and reward those who do well. And remember that the spells and potions you learn in class will help you become a better dueler. Yeah, your attribute points does a lot. <laughs> Just call it attribute points, you know. <laughs> oh, hello, Penny. Even though enough of my babbling. A blathering. Blah, 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 blah. I'm going with blathering or blah, blabbling. Right, rambling. Enough of my ramblings. <laughs> Face off two at a time and you're ready and ready your wands. It's time to duel. I actually like Dumbledore a lot. But the funny thing is, I actually know a lot about his backstory. About his sister and his friend and all those things. I kind of know a lot about that for some odd reason. When you kind of end up in the depths of Pottermore website. When you've just read in there. I should actually take the personality test there at Pottermore and see if I'm still a Hufflepuffle there. <laughs> I'm probably a Slytherin there, because when I remember back at the test, it took very, very early. Um, for I think uh, two years ago, I was 51% Hufflepuff and 49% Slytherin, so it could kind of go either way. But I prefer being a Hufflepuff. I kind of like that thought of being a Hufflepuff. Anyway, okay. So, so what do we? So what do we do? No, let's study with Rowan, that's a side quest. So, so what do we do? Um, can we do a Snape? <laughs> so, do we click on... Who do we click on? Do, do, do we... Huh? What do we do? Can, can we start? No... Uh... I'm clicking on everyone right now to figure out how to do... Maybe I should just leave and go back in and see what happens. I guess? Because it does seem that we couldn't do... <laughs> okay, dueling room. Okay. Can we duel now? <gasps> Hello, Professor Sprout! Hello! Oh, she, she, she had time to overview our battling. Oh, find an opponent. So this is against other people or yes it's against other people oh okay cool uh... oh I might not win but this is kind of cool <laughs> this is interesting because it's all about thinking it's all about thinking. And it's all about... Technically, this is not against Ben, so I probably won't go easy on this guy. I'm very sorry, sir. <laughs> um, I guess this is also a way to interact with the other players, which is kind of interesting, but I would also just have loved to play against... Um... I would actually just have loved to play against NPCs, to be honest. So, let's see... Filipendo. Oop. I am not good at tracing anymore, as I thought I was. So let's see. Okay. 
So... It's basically playing mind games, which is kind of interesting. Oh! Nice one! Oh! It's a ticket and charm. Interesting. Okay. Hmm. Let's try this. Aha! <laughs> this is very interesting. Um. Let's do the Expelliarmus charm here. And we'll see how far that goes. Because this is kind of interesting because it gives a little more to the whole plan of actually um, thinking about how battling works and dueling works and stuff like that. And that's really interesting. Um, I would do this one. And I think I'm doing okay. It's actually interesting to play against other players because it's still kind of rush and bow or rock, paper, scissor. Um, very much so in, in many ways because this is basically what it kinda is. So... Basically that's it. We'll go with Sneaky. Filipendo? <laughs> if I could trace! Properly. At least you don't get a penalty for that. <laughs> but of course I could see a picture of him. So uh, in, in the start I can I, I saw a picture showing... First of all it also showed where he was from. I think it was from Brazil. Um, but I will blur out the picture because the person have obviously not agreed to being my video. So let's see. Um... Let's go with Sneaky again. No! Ah! Good for him! Oh! Throwing a veil at me. Interesting. Very interesting. Ahaha! <laughs> he called my bluff! That's cool! That's really cool! We actually have the same one, which is really interesting. Ah! He's doing well now! Oh, he's very aggressive now. Hmm. I actually think now he's throwing rocks at me, out of cupstones at me. I'm gonna throw a cupstone at him. Oh, you receive energy points for this. That's an easy way to earn energy points as well. Oh my. It takes time, but yeah, he was from Brazil. Cool. Um, that's very interesting. But now that I've seen what, how that works, I would see how I can, I would see if I can win eight fights because I actually like the shirt a lot because it does look like a dueling outfit. So that, that would be rather interesting to see if we can get that. Um, I don't know if we should try another. How many chances do we have at dueling? Tickets. It's tickets. Do the tickets go down how many time you lose or do you just get them automatically? I don't know. But I, I would have lost to battle against NPCs. Um, I must admit. However, now we have seen what that is about. We will go and study with Rowan in the Great Hall. No, actually, actually we will do something else because I did go um, before this episode. Uh, I did get ready so we could learn Alohomora, which was um, the the key spell, as I call it. <laughs> Unlock stuff spell. So um, let's go and start learning that spell. That would be interesting to see. Oh, people have to talk. Are you planning something, Ray? You look like you're planning something. Maybe. I don't know. I heard Penny he Haywood talking about you, Ray. All good things, of course. 
Yeah, because she she said she was going to help us. She said she was going to help us. We're finally learning a spell that I don't find terrifying. Oh, Ben. Oh, Ben. You're a good guy. You're really a good guy. Okay, let's see. Welcome, everyone. Today we'll be learning the unlocking charm. Alohomora. Okay. I was just confused if I actually said that right <laughs> for a second. It's a it's the very best spell when the visit forgets his keys. Yeah. As far as I remember, the certain person that we do not talk of also used that spell to get into a certain house and hurt a certain family and then about um, in a few years he will be attending Hot Watts and the whole universe will be centering around him for a couple of movies. And books. But yeah, that's fine. <laughs> Come to think of it. This hello Homori. Why would a visit even need keys? Oh yeah. That's an interesting question. Like why would a visit need keys if you can just use a spell? However, it does seem a little too easy to use just the same spell on every door. But that's of course the the idea about it. But Hopefully there is a prevention spell of this spell. Because else you're very vulnerable, even in your own home. Or is that just me? Um, a discussion for another day, I suppose. What's up, everyone? <laughs> it's still gonna... Why would I care? This would need keys. I like that one. I like that one. Okay, so let's start out the lesson. Alohomora demonstration. Alohomora is a spell that would open many doors for you. Let's begin with demonstration of the unlocking charm. Watch me, students. Okay, one of my friends was really happy with constantly changing game in Steam, so he kept popping up. Uh, so there might be some oddly bodly cuts here, <laughs> here and there. Um, hopefully, he doesn't interrupt the game too much. Um, but it annoyed me, unfortunately. So we will start uh, reading books about how to use it. And hopefully we have the bigger energy usages, because they seem to, as you can see, power through much faster. Um, and seemingly we get quicker stars from it. Oh, hello! I would not say no to that many um, energy points. So let's focus a little here. Yeah, here and there, yes. But that's actually still interesting with the whole battling or dueling aspect. Though, as, as I said before, I would, I'm a person that would prefer dueling my NPCs. Um, I love multiplayer on my own terms, but with kind of incorporating the people like this. Well, there's no interaction, so, but it still kind of seems weird to me. But for some others, it might be great. But I like to have the dually inspected as a more prominent thing in the game. Um, boy, I'm probably more on the part going... I would love if they have... It's going to have more effect on stories acts later that you have to go duel so many times to unlock the uh, next chapter or something. So there is a there is a point to go dueling that it's not just for the event things but it also, also have something um, importance to the storyline if you guys get what I mean. Um, but that, that's just me. Moving on. I will now show you some tips for casting the unlocking charm. Unlocking! <laughs> I cannot read today. Maybe it's because of the really, really bad lack of sleep. I haven't slept uh, since yesterday. Um, I have been hit with an insomnia attack again, so I am still in good spirit. But if it continues, I will be I will be feeling really, really poorly tomorrow, unfortunately. However, I did do a lot of stuff today, which I didn't expect to do. Which I'm very proud of myself, because usually when I don't sleep, I become like zombie brain. Um, but that has actually not happened this time, which I'm very surprised by. Um, 
We know at least 10 points is a giver. Um, but that's a lot of points for just one star. <laughs> hmm. Demonstrate! Let's demonstrate here. Okay, let's demonstrate. How do we demonstrate? This seems very regular. It doesn't look... It looks like just every other... It looks more like the Espeliamos spell. Even though the Espeliamos are more like... Itched. Hmm. I don't think it's the actual oh. one because we probably first get that in the last thing. Please come and see what effects this spell has. Mm hmm. As the same descriptions on every. Basically, I just think he's just rolling in a blackboard where it already says everything that's wrong with it or what you should be aware of when using it. There's a two. That's a five. We will take the five. Without a doubt. And we have a two. So it's seven? I think it's seven that we need to get a star. So we are a little under the energy levels, but that's fine. Oh. I'm pretty sure we will be able to get it anyway. Um, let's see here. There we are. Oh, we can still go play Cobstones and eat with our friends. Actually, now that I think of it, but just speaking of our friends. <laughs> friends makes perfect, I guess. Um, start the Alohomora in the incantations. Okay. Many young witches and witches take liber liberties with pronouncing Alohomora. I probably do too. <laughs> Make sure you get it right. Yeah, we probably don't. <laughs> uh, knowing myself right, oh, probably not. Oh, no, that was not what I meant to do. The screen is very sensitive, which I realized last time as well. Um, yeah, my screen has gotten rather sensitive to a lot of things. Uh, can we get the last five seconds? And then we will go uh, have some lunch or talk with Roman and then we will... Okay, seemingly seven was not enough this time around, oddly enough. Oh no, it's probably eight because it was five and three and that's eight, that's not seven. That's right, okay. Just me making a boo-boo again with miscalculations and... I have never claimed to be good at maths. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, I used to be good at maths, but I kind of stopped being good at math when I started at college. <laughs> Cause uh, I don't know. I think I lost interest, really. Even though um, I like the logics behind maths, but I just lost interest when as soon as I entered college. So, I, I became more interested in language and language accusation instead, so I changed major. <laughs> As many do. But oh well. Oh yeah, I'm also just collecting um, energy points here. Because we need them. We probably have to go take a duel again, because if we can win, we actually get free energy points. Seemly. Seemly. Yeah, we are. Oh, it, it just disappears like out of the blue, like poof. Kind of laughed if the animation when he he ran all the way, you could see him run all the way down to Hagrid's hut. That could have been so so more cute, <laughs> so cute. Anywho, um, we will go and actually study with Rowan and see what she has to say. Oh yeah, we have to learn it first. Boop. That's right. Okay. Uh, then we are in a bit of a pickle. <laughs> Maybe. Um, because we have already just collected all the points that we can get. Um, we can use these two on them. Yes. And technically, we just probably need... We probably need uh, in total three more to complete this class. Probably. So, with, with 
hopefully. Um, if we are lucky. <laughs> um, then hopefully we only need three more. Because sometimes you get like no help at all throughout the classes. Sometimes you get like a lot of different ones and suddenly you only get fivers or five energies and then you kind of like go, oh, okay. I'm not lucky there right today. I believe you're ready to make an attempt. See if you can unlock that... Uh, un you can unlock that lock. Mm, tongue twister right there, children. In front of you. Oh, look, there's a little lock. Okay, let's see. That's a two. And that's a five. Okay, so we would take the five. And what is Roven now? She's a four. Okay. So that will mean we just have to wait a little bit. Alrighty then, now we have at least five energy points, so let's see if we can finish this off. Nice and smooth. Apparently not. <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> Alright, so with that we should at least be able to finish this off, so we can go talk to Rowan. Yay! And then we can get nine more energy. Typical. <laughs> oh well. Uh, with the options, I will actually go with the energy points, so that's fine. And let's see, we'll cast a spell. Oh! Uh, circle down. There we go. <laughs> it's not a guarantee that I know everything, though. <laughs> Anywho. Um, but we unlocked the, the lock, so we did it well. That's so nice. And we completed it, and we got five more gems out of that. No special thing there. It could actually be funny. If... No, that would... No. No, that would actually not be funny. I was just thinking, how could you use a Alohamora in a duel? It would probably be a backpack that opens, or something. <laughs> um, but I don't think that it works that way, though. Well done! You have successfully unlocked another piece of knowledge at Hogwarts. And I'm one step closer to unlocking that door. Oh, don't talk so loudly, little Ray. We might find out. Oh well, let's go here, see. Um, now we can go talk to Rowan, because I forgot the part that you can't really go and do anything else when you actually are having classes. So, now we can go talk to Rowan. Yes. And then we'll probably have a little meal with a friend and play a quick round of cupstones. And that's probably gonna be Penny again to try and up her friend level. So she at the same level as the others. If you want to know how to duel, learn how to duel, you should train with the Gryffindor Bill Weasley. Ooh, that's a Weasley! He's uh, one of the best duelers at Hogwarts. Yeah, I was sure I could actually battle against... Uh, I really wish I could actually battle against um, NPCs. But that's again, it, it's my preference. It's not everyone's preference, it's just mine. Because I, I like to engage in singular stories. And I know that sounds maybe a little weird in a multiple player thing, but... This is not really multiple player, it's like single story, we're following your story. It's kind of the same like, um... Let's take Harvest Moon and... Stardew Valley and all these things. You can do multiple in Stardew Valley. Uh, if you use the beta currently. But also with the Harvest Moon that there isn't much multiplayer going on, you can have a all season farm to help out your friends and that's it um, so I, I'm kind of like if it's a singular story if it's not an uh, if it's not really based on multiplayer I prefer it being just NPCs kind of thing I don't know if it makes sense to you guys the way I try to explain it but oh well let's go and is it true is it true how perfect is teaching you how to do that's so cool! <laughs> Indeed it is. Okay, there's one more here. I would study hard if I were you, Ray. It's almost time for our duel. Oh, it's, it's Jane. I didn't see. 
it was Jane. Okay, where is Rowan? Oh, she's there. <laughs> Didn't see her there. Hey, Ray. How are you feeling about your upcoming duel with our prefect? Um, I would say we're focused because we have been taking classes and upping our entropy points. So we are ready to battle her. Huh? The best to our abilities. I don't know if we're excited because duel should again be the last option other than now it's an event thing. Um, it's going to be a big challenge. I'm ready. Uh, I really need to study to have any chance of winning other than our entry tribute points are probably going to make us win. However, we will see to that. Well, I'm going to make sure that you are as prepared as possible. I've gathered every dueling book I could find on strategies, techniques and first-hand accounts. Thanks, Rowan. I will try to get through as much as I can. Oh no, Ray. We'll go through this, all of it together. <gasps> oh, we are the Huffle Trouble. I, I, we, are, we are a little group of Huffle Puffles right now, and then we have Ben on this side. <laughs> it's kind of sad. It's like, he's just, we are the three Huffle Puffles and Ben. Who is braver, actually, than he thinks he is. So, yeah. Oh no, you're going to get there. Togetherness as a Huffle Truffle, yes. Huffle Truffle? <laughs> oh well. I'm not going to miss a special study session with my friend. I really like Rowan, she's a nice girl. I said, like, really, generally, all the characters we met, except for Merula, who is just kind of. She's just a pain. That's, that is basically what she is. She's just a pain. There's not really anything bad going on in the school because. I have experienced worse bullying than these guys have experienced, probably. So, yeah. Let's go! Oh! 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 Uh oh! <laughs> I forgot there was something like this. Okay, I might actually use gems on this. However, we'll just do this. How fast do we go through it? Okay. We don't really have that much. Um. Well, technically, after the first hour, we will actually have passed the whole uh, thing. However, we don't actually have that um, much time to wait. We don't have three hours to wait for the event here to be over. So I actually think... Um, I'm not really keen on using my gems because I used a lot of time on earning them. However... Hmm... We probably need around 30 to finish this one off. But the positive thing, we can always earn them back. So I'm, I'm not really afraid of that as such. And now they go down in low energy bars. So I was right on the 30 one, I, I think. Yeah. <laughs> now it's just being, nope, you're not getting any high energies. Nope. You ain't gonna. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I just kind of thought like, no, now I'm just going to get all the small ones and, and we won't go anywhere and it won't make sense anymore and blah, blah, blah. But no, Roman's actually giving off the high energy ones, which is nice. Which makes everything a lot easier here. No? Yes. <laughs> then hopefully we do have enough for completing this. I am getting a little uncertain that we might not have, but that's fine. I guess it's fine in the end. Um, how many points do we have left? We have five points left. And... We have four points left. Uh-oh. Um, but we don't have enough, and I know that by fact we don't. So... But I think ten would be enough. <laughs> that means we're going down very low in... Uh, gems, but I didn't actually think I thought it was gonna be a conversation so that's my fault that I didn't think clearly on that one so basically we're just gonna do this and I'm just gonna live with trying to re-grind all the gems that's fine just getting more classes really and that's it I think and I don't know if it's only energy you win from actually dueling or you could potentially win gems I don't know but it could be interesting if you could. Thanks, Rowing. 
um, uh, Rowan? Studying all those dueling books was a huge help. I wouldn't have a chance against our prefect without you. Logically speaking, speaking, you had chances. Your chances are in in Fimax. In is she making a word up here? Infinite max. No, I infinitesimal. <laughs> Is she making up a word here? Like combining infinite and maximal? I don't. I don't. Uh, uh, yeah, that's kind of my. <laughs> that, might, that exactly says how I'm feeling about it. Uh, it means very much small. Ah. Uh, Oh, so it is a word. Oh, like infinite and maximal. Uh, I know what that word means, everyone. Better go and get to the training grounds for my duel with our prefect. <laughs> Good luck, Ray. I will be hoping for your victory in the face of insurmountable odds. She likes using those large words, that's for sure. Anywho. We will as well go and definitely go and have lunch with Penny. And we're probably going to get more potions, quizzes, and I am not looking for what to those. But we're definitely going to have Penny because I want her to be at the same friendship level as the others. Because I kind of like when things are evened out, and I've probably said that a lot of times. You need to know your potions to find the cursed vaults, Ray. Let's test your knowledge, which she talked about last time. Oh, this one I know now because I got the wrong one last time. So it's definitely not the berries. It doesn't matter which one el which other one I choose. It's not the berries. So you just have to cut the old one out and then don't do anything else. Nice work. Yes, thank you. Betty seems like a nice girl as well. Let's see here. Uh, <laughs> I forget. Oh yeah, they they're both in there. So I actually I I chose the Valerian Briggs last time, so I'm just gonna choose that one again. But <laughs> I forget is kind of the obvious choice there, without without a doubt. So we got three more stars with her. And obviously, we should be able to almost level her friendship meter up with playing a quick game of Gobstones as well. Because, quite to be frank, the Gobstones and the talk with our peers right now is going really fast because of our entry points being so high. So it goes a lot faster than it used to be. So yeah, that's nice. Um, and I like doing this on screen so you guys know that I have been grinding friendship points and knowledge from these characters as well oh. so that's going to be interesting and also their conversations <sighs> what makes pens what uh oh is another one she wants okay this is another one it was not this is not about distraction this is actually about gossip Oh, cool. That means it's answers we haven't answered. What makes Ben's Ben a coward? A ruler bullies him. He's secretly a death eater. <laughs> He's from a muggle family. Well, I would say Marula bullies him as well as he's from a muggle family. I think the muggle family is more right because he is, as I've said so many times, he's been thrusted into this world of magic. And as one who has never thought magic was something that was real, he would be... I would be scared to even close my eyes if I knew everything of that, all that was weird, real, because then you... For, first of all, we just learned a unlocking door spell today, and if I knew that was a thing, I would be scared because I can't even lock my door kind of thing. But yeah, that's a thing, really. Why do they think? Why do they say you, that you say you are mad? 
Because of Mad Eye Moody. <laughs> because of my brother. Because of the cursed vault. It's probably because of her brother. Because she mentions this all the time. Oh, our character mentions that all the time. There we are. And there we go. Two very quick rounds of friendship points. That's what it is. And hopefully... We will probably be at 19. Oh no, actually not. We leveled up and we got more... <laughs> we got... Uh, some gems back for what we lost. Yay! That's cool. So, let's see. Actually? No, I actually think I'll be ending off here because I can see we are... We have actually done quite a bit. So, until next time, guys. Take care and have a fantastic day.